So I've been living in Nepal for the past 25 years, and 10 years ago, Nepal was struck by a massive earthquake. It destroyed 800,000 homes. So at that time, me and my wife, Bina, we went out to the villages to help poor families rebuild. And we realized that we need to find a way to build houses that is cheap enough that everyone can afford it, that can withstand earthquakes and floods, and that's eco-friendly because the uh, fire brick industry is responsible for a third of our CO2 emissions in Nepal. So we came up with eco-friendly bricks. So the bricks are made from sand, soil, a little bit of cement and stone dust mixed together and compressed in a machine. No burning of coal is needed. So we save four times the amount of CO2 emissions and nine times less air pollution. And at the same time, and that's the most important, we can build a wall that is 40% cheaper than one made of traditional fire bricks. We support local entrepreneurs to buy this brick making machine, start producing bricks and they build their own communities. So we have 220 active enterprises and producers who are making bricks and they've built about 12,000 houses, employing more than 2,000 people, and we have saved 125,000 tons of CO2 emissions. Nepal was struck by a second earthquake two years ago, and the reconstruction is just about to start. 79,000 homes fell, fell down, but all buildings made with our technology were undamaged and saved lives. So our challenge right now is to scale up fast enough to meet demand. This price gives us the chance to do that and the international recognition to really be able to expand.